Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and I'm in between projects right now, so now is good enough time as any to respond to some of your comments. <laughs> Taking apart the Moto X, Sinead says, ribbon cables glued down. Ah, that's, that, that's what I said. Yeah. Take a note, Motorola, don't do that. I don't care if it, if it makes it more compact. I don't need that compact of a phone. I mean, this is pretty good. Fixing a broken lamp cord, Rhea Rajkumar says, let's say the wire of a ring light was yanked directly out from the ring light, not like by the switch box. It's like the cord that connects to the actual ring light. Is that fixable? Probably. Um, you just have to see where the cord actually is supposed to connect, and then you probably just have to resolder those joints, just like I did in that original video where I just resoldered the switch. Um, same principle, same idea, you just gotta go a little further up the cord. Ikea Batteries, Rohirrim says, and they're 15 euros a pack. Um... Yeah, it's a little higher than they used to be, but supply and demand, and if you're checking online prices, that's an entirely different thing uh, because they sell them for more expensive online than they do at the store, and COVID. So, there you go. John O'Brien Conroy says, Great video. You've educated me. Thank you. You're welcome. Sarcasm Princess says, IKEA's food is perfect. Cheap and tasty. What more can I ask for? I can't disagree. I can't argue with that. Cheerful Trout says, High impulse, high drain. Went and solved my wondering what the pro versions were intended for in one go right there. Just always assume the only difference was a slightly higher capacity for more money, but with fewer rated cycles. Yeah, it's, it's essentially, it's a trade-off. So you can do um, slower drain for um, low drain devices, like just about everything that a AA would power. And then you have stuff like for um, speed lights, flash, uh, things like that, that are, they require a high impulse. Uh, so they require a lot of current real quick, um, but not constant. So it's, uh, it's more of a, a one shot. Uh, so those have higher capacity uh, because they're not working as much. So that's why they have fewer cycles. So. Um, they just need that higher capacity, but they do it over the same amount of time. And, and that's essentially the difference between in a loop and in a loop pro. Fixing a shredder paper jam. Colleen W says, I've been picking out paper stuck in the teeth for days now. And I bent one of them and it's right in the middle of the slot where the paper goes. Oh, damn. What should I do now? Um, well, uh, you can either get a new shredder or you can maybe take a, uh, you can maybe take that, that piece, because you can see in the video where I take out the teeth, so to speak. Um, you can take that piece and you can try to bend it back into place with a, um, with a set of pliers, a channel locks or something like that. You can try grinding it down on an angle grinder or you can just bite the bullet and buy a new shredder at this point. Putting Windows 98 on the Raspberry Pi, Bumblebee TF says, Thanks for making this video. You're welcome. I really like the stories and reflections of the good old days in computing. So do I. And that's why I do uh, the occasional uh, diversions such as that. Yeah, I, uh, I like reflecting on those, uh, those halcyon bygone days of computing. And uh, that's what really draws me to the retro scene. And uh, I hope that uh, you will enjoy more as I do more in that vein every once in a while. So stay tuned. What's inside the Xbox uh, rechargeable battery pack? Spot, bat, spot, bat, spot, bat. Why am I even watching this? I don't even have an Xbox 360. Well, I appreciate you watching anyway. I don't know why you're watching either, but... Uh, if you dig it, cool, throw a like up there, hit the subscribe thingy, blah, blah, blah. Mark Young's Magic asks, was it easy to open the casing? How did you do it without breaking? Thanks. I didn't. I broke it. Uh, it was broken to begin with, so I just broke it more. There you go. <laughs> no magic. In a 3D printer review, Scuba128 asks, is that a dent over the LCD panel? Yes, it is. Um, so, full disclosure. 
full disclosure, this is actually the printer that they sent me the first time. The printer that you see in the video is actually a second printer. And what happened was they sent me this one. This is banged up. I did the review and I said, this, this is banged up. The screen doesn't work because the screen is cracked. Uh, the touch screen doesn't work. And they said, okay, so we'll send you another one. I said, okay. Uh, so full disclosure, they did send me a replacement for this one. Um, that I spliced in the footage for. They're really good with the customer service on that end of it. Um, like I said, this one was busted and they were just like, no problem, here's another one. And uh, they, you know, they, they did well. So that's why I put that in there um, because they, they made a mistake, they corrected the mistake very quickly and I don't have a problem with that. So there you go, there is the busted one. Uh, there is the good one over there. If I don't turn this, uh, you know, if I don't put this back into a functional 3D printer, because then I would have three 3D printers. Four! Four 3D! Ah! 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 Anyway, if I don't do that, then I will probably take the CNC innards and do something with them. I, I, I need a mill. Um, I need a mill and maybe a laser cutter, I don't know yet, but I'm probably going to take the, um, the brains out of this and, and do something else with it, but, uh, but there you go. Training a custom wake word with Snowboy, Shadowkill546 asks, can you use this to change your hot word for Google Assistant on your phone? Thanks. No, no, it, um, Snowboy works, it's a, um, it's basically a uh, JavaScript that runs on top. No, it's a Python script. I'm sorry. It's a Python script that runs on top of the Python implementation for the Google Assistant application, which runs on Raspberry Pi. The version that runs on Android is not the same. It is a different implementation. For Android, it would specifically have to be something that came top down from Google to allow you to do that. Uh, building a DIY Commodore 64 AV cable. Rick asks if this will work with a normal C64, the bread bin, I'm assuming. Uh, seen few videos, they used resistors, thank you. It's the same, it's the same circuit. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it's really necessary. I think it's just an extra step that's not particularly necessary. Oh yeah, I think that is all of them. Couple of announcements. More projects coming. Yes, uh, the 2XL, I'm going to be working on that. I think that's my next Element 14 project. So I'll be finishing the 2XL. Join me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Airborne Surfer. Uh, Wednesdays, I have a new concept. It's a, it's a cooking show. It's uh, the, the test kitchen. That is at least the working title for it. I haven't really come up with a, a real title or anything for it uh, is a soft launch. So come by, say hello, Wednesday evenings, at like five Pacific-ish. Um, haven't nailed a lot of that down, but go ahead and hit me up at Airborne Surfer, twitch.tv slash Airborne Surfer. Oh, I've got some kits in the works. Uh, I got a few projects that I'm going to be turning into kits. Um, and there'll be more about that as it comes. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate all of you, all of your continued support. Uh, please continue to watch, tell your friends about new and interesting things that come out on this channel. Get them to subscribe, hold their feet to the fire, you know, threaten them. There will be a Patreon thing coming eventually, uh, but I'm still working on that because I want you to actually get some kind of a thing out of it. Uh, in the meantime, social media up over here, subscribe down there, video that YouTube thinks you'll probably enjoy. No show notes, anything like that. Everything's in the doobly-doo. My name is Atari, and until next time, remember, it's okay! It's just a prototype. Rally-ho, y'all!